Hi, I'm Vivek. And I'm Megan. Welcome to our NYO Digital Film. We're here in the Collier Ferguson Hall in Kent, and we're super excited to bring you into the NYO world. We're now going to delve into the world of Indian Hindustani music as we perform Dinuk Vijayaratne's Tabla Concerto. It's an intricate fusion of many different musical genres, from North Indian classical to electronic drum and bass, and everything in between. For me personally, I'd never experienced the sounds of the tabla before, and I feel like playing this concerto and learning it in such fine detail has really opened my musical world. We've also really enjoyed working with Sandeep Daz, the tabla soloist. He's such an energetic and inspiring yeah. character, and it's been such fun working with him. Here's Thomas and Inez in conversation with him. Hello, I'm Inez and this is Tom and today um, we are being joined by Sandeep who's our amazing tabla soloist and he spared some of his time uh, to just talk with us. Um, Sandeep, so we just wanted to ask, um, how did you find your way in music? First of all, thank you for having me here. I'm having a blast and, you know, as my wife will tell you, that she's still hoping that one day I will grow up. But the, <laughs> the best part is that when I meet people like you, I know I don't want to grow up. Mm -hmm. So I'm so happy to be here and the way you all of you have accepted me as one of yours. So yeah, how I started was quite by accident. You know, my father got a complaint from school that the six-year-old kid has been disturbing the class by tapping on the desk. And when he's asked to stop tapping on the desk, he starts tapping with his feet. So the recommendation was take him to a doctor. But thankfully, I had a very smart father. I went home. Instead of being upset at me, he had a nice smile. And I, I walked up, and I saw these two little something on the coffee table. And I looked at him, and I said, Dad, what are those? He said, those are tablas, and your lessons start tonight. And that's how he, I am here. Still tapping the desk, tapping with my feet, and whenever I get a chance, I do tap on those drums. Would you be able to tell us maybe a bit about what the tabla is, or about kind of the history behind it? Great. So tablas, for those of you that don't know, are these two little drums that are played with the hand. And you know, you can definitely go to Uncle Google and do an image search and you will see these two drums pop up and almost plays melodies, you know, it plays notes. When you combine them, it's an incredible instrument that plays grooves, that plays complicated rhythm cycles. So much so that anyone with good training and a little bit of application, just like me, I play with Indian classical music, I play with symphonies, I play with rock, jazz, rappers. You know, you can literally play that instrument with any kind of music and have fun. And I think that's one thing I'm really looking forward to because I've honestly never heard of what a tabla was before yeah. coming on this course, hearing about oh, spring residency, oh, we're doing a tabla can show, and I was thinking, what an air's a tabla? So I think I speak on behalf of quite a lot of musicians in the orchestra, lots of us are very excited to do this concerto. And I was gonna ask, you know, is it exciting you to do a symphony orchestra? You guys tell me, do you like the instrument or you don't like the instrument? Love it. You it's, love it? So are you switching? <laughs> I love the double bass. <laughs> it's still not late, you know, mm. still not late. You know, I'm having a great time, as I said, and I think what is amazing that the, you know, the. National Youth Orchestra of Great Britain is thinking differently because that's where we are as a world right mm. now, that the sooner we try to go beyond our walls and find out, okay, I play this, I do this, I eat this, this is how I dress. What is that neighbor of mine doing? What is he or she cooking? What is he or she listening to? Can I join him and her and cook a meal together? Can we have a singing competition together? I think that's the way forward. And that's where I feel what we are doing together 
it's not about converting you into a tabla player or converting me into a cellist or a violinist. It's about opening our worlds mm. that, hey, at the end, it's all music. Let's have fun. So I'm absolutely having fun as long as you guys are having fun. Yeah, Tell me if you do. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the power, I guess, of music. I feel like, I think recently, I guess, you know, music education in schools or just just generally has sort of been kind of, I don't know, shut down a little bit. It's quite sad to mm. see that. It's you know, there's a saying that the civilization is known by the art it produces. And by art, it encompasses everything. And yet, unfortunately, that's the budget cut that's happening everywhere. But it's you guys who will change it. You are the hope for the yes. future. When you get to those positions, make sure that you don't cut budget budgets. You bring in more money and you say, no, 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 no. We will do everything else but music, art mm. first. Yeah. So I, I give you the baton. Yeah. It's, you are in charge now. Yeah, and I think definitely one of the things MYO really does well is inspiring the younger generation, like you were saying about the, we're kind of like caught in a world of maths, English, and science. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, lots of people don't have that access to music as where other people do. And I was just going to ask, do you kind of feel a responsibility in a way to inspire young musicians Absolutely. like you've done with us? Absolutely. If you had asked me this question, say, 25 years back, I was just another musician traveling the world, playing concerts and having a good time. But I no longer think it's an option that, oh, do you? I think that's the only thing that we should do is how do we inspire the next generation? I was going to ask as well about this kind of fusing a tabla with a symphony orchestra. <laughs> how did that come about? So the composer for the tabla concerto is an amazing human being. I like, I'm a fan of his for just who he is. His name is Dinuk Vijay Ratne. Check him out. Everyone that's watching this interview, check him out. He's probably one of the finest young composers in the world today. And he's a classically trained and pianist, went to Juilliard in New York. But I'm pretty certain that in his past life, his, the soul that's inside his body is a tabla player. <laughs> so he has not learned tabla, you know, formally from anyone. Yet. But the, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's from the past that he amazes me. As you are hearing this, the way he has been able to bring two mm. worlds together mm. is incredible. So I met him first as he was a student composer that was brought together by the Carnegie Hall, you know, in New York. Mm. They paired young composers with star musicians and gave them a chance to write for famous artists like Yo-Yo Ma and others. I happened to be one, and Dinuk wrote a piece for tabla and strings years back, probably way before you were born. And yet it was such a good piece that I never forgot him. But this was pre-internet, pre-cell phone. You know, I used to live in India. I played, great concert, bye-bye, went back to India, lost touch. Only, <laughs> I would say, nine years later or, or maybe 15 years later, I don't even remember, I suddenly start asking about him and I ask a friend of mine and guess what? This friend has had coffee with Dinuk a night before in Toronto where Dinuk has been asking for me. So again, it's karma, mm. it's your life, you know, it's if you are destined to meet, you meet. And so when I asked him, I said, like, there was this guy, this composer who wrote this fantastic piece, would you know where he is now? He's like, oh, that's very funny because I met him last night and he was asking about you after a gap of no contact for 10, 15 years. <laughs> so I was like, why was he looking for me? It's like, oh, because he's writing a tabla concerto with you in his mind and he wants to talk to you. There you go. We connected again, and Dinuk was like, Sandeep, I have something for you. And he produced this tabla concerto. What he has done in this piece beautifully is he has given me the freedom to fly, to soar in the skies, you know, to paint, to sculpt, but with responsibilities. I'm constantly lining up 
with the bass section. I'm constantly lining up with the, what the harp is doing, what the percussion section is doing, what the s strings are doing. So freedom with responsibilities. So at NY, we all you know, come from such you know, different backgrounds. And I was wondering, you know, how can music be used to understand each other better, understand our society, understand our culture, and like sort of bridge those gaps? I don't think we have to do anything consciously. We just have to start, as I said in the beginning, just trying to be curious. Don't kill your curiosity. You know, when I go into elementary schools, they ask me some of the best questions. And I go to a university, and there are no questions. Because somehow, this, you know, as we start getting older, we stop being curious. So first of all, as long as you are curious, go find what is that Japanese drummer doing? Why is he beating on that drum the way he is beating? What is that, you know, Brazilian singer singing about? So at NYU, as all of you come from different backgrounds, though you are from Britain, you know, each household is different. Similarly, I feel musically, the moment you, you're all here with this National Youth Orchestra because you worked hard. When I come in, I don't see you as, oh, these are kids. Uh, I don't have to take them seriously. I take you very seriously because you know what? I see discipline. I see hard work. So feel free to ask questions. Don't stop having fun. Yes, that's one thing. If you ever feel you are doing a piece or practicing or something that's not making you happy, there's something wrong. Find out what's wrong. Is it your teacher who's not right? Is it the environment? Is it the room? Is it the instrument? Only follow something that makes you happy. Then you'll never be negative. It will always be positive. And I think the world doesn't need anything. The world needs people like you. Go out, spread music, through music spread love, and we are in good hands. I think that also ties in quite well with our theme for mm. this year, which is, you know, open up, letting loose. Running riot. Yes. <laughs> running riot. You know, okay. I, I, I never stopped running. I think the concept is let that child in you never die. Let it keep running riot. Even when you are 70, you are 80, keep that. And it ties in with who I am. It ties in with who we are. Let's keep running riot. And I hope people who come to our concerts also go back and continue running Riot. I love it, and I would love running Riot for the rest of my life. <laughs>
देता का तुन तुन नाते तेता धा देता किड़ धा देता का तेते धा देता का तेते धा देता क्रेते धा देता का तेते धा का तेते धा तू अंदा धा तू अंदा धा का तेते धा का तेते धा तू अंदा धा तू अंदा धा का तेते धा का तेते धा तू अंदा धा तू अंदा धा
ga da 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 te te ka ta ga di ga na da te te ka ta ga di ga na da te te ka ta ga di ga na da da te te ka ta ga di ga na da te te ka ta ga di ga na da te te ka ta ga di ga na da te te ka ta ga di ga na da ga da 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 ga da 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 ga da 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 Cut out. 